You know, I hear a lot of black men talk about our black queens like it's something that they didn't come from. It's like a, a how would I say, it? repundant, a repundant. Uh, you can't fight fire with five gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We encourage this social media pornography. We encourage we encourage the degrading of our women as black men. How you expect our women to be strong if the head of the family is being weak? And is not being strong himself. We have a lot of men that say they rugged and raw, but they soft as Scott Scott's tissue paper. You know, they shaman. You know, they say this shit. Cause I'm gonna go hard with this, so y'all just gonna have to bear with me. I ain't saying I ain't saying I'm the holy of the holies. Y'all can forget that shit right now. Always will, always will be a street street brother. But I put it to you straight like it supposed to be put. Let me tell you something, man. You see, you got two types of black man. You got black men that's thirsty, simps, over over jealous. They got everybody trying to hit their woman because she fat to death. Then you got brothers like me as well, seasoned like old wine, to sit back through the intertwined wisdom and look at the bullshit for what it is. Brother, sometimes your relationships don't go out because your foundation ain't strong. Your foundation, your foundation is shaky as a motherfucker. You can't support yourself. You can't make means to ends meet to make enough money to come up to the plate. Well... Your woman ain't going to say nothing. Usually black women don't say nothing because they know there might be some re repercussions because they know how your, ass is, how your ass is. So they would sneak, all, sneak out, you know, do what they got to do, get their little income from old Joe Blow, old, old, you know, nigga down the street somewhere, and, you know, clean up whatever, come back to you, and that's it. Look, man. It's deeper. You got to get to the core. And it's usually dysfunctional between two sexes. This is why the things of relationships don't go right when it comes to black women. But to get on a platform worldwide and to uh, cast black women into the pits of fucking hellies is, 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 uh, is totally retarded. You got two types of women. You got hoes and you got respectable women. You got religious women, cultural women. It's which one you want to pick. You, you, you is what you is. You are what you are. You reap what you sow. That's so a man thinking so is he. That's what you want. That's what you get. But, see, y'all don't want the other shit that come with it, see. If you get a hoe, you got a whole lot of excess baggage. You get a religious woman, you got a religious baggage. You get a cultural woman, you got a cultural baggage. It's different choices you have to make. And you have to be educated in these choices. And unevenly yoked. Sometimes that work. And majority of the time, opposites. Opposites. Y'all know how to go. Opposites attract. Not subtract, attract. Opposites come together. Usually, that's how it go. Usually, the ones that fall in love are the ones that's one thing this way, one thing. The ones that's got a lot in common. Sometimes, majority of the time, that doesn't work. It's just funny like that. Deal with it. My thing is this. I got two older brothers. I'm the last one. Three makes trilogy, goddammit. But I want to tell you something, man. I came from a black woman. Okay? It's like some of y'all, just like y'all on the internet. Remember, in order to stop the man-child from progressing, 
You have to destroy the one who produces the man child. That's the black woman. So abortion, black on black crime, contraceptives, whatever they call that shit, uh, birth control, these these, these rinky dick abortion clinics, I call them the utensils of, of, of practitioners of physician, and, and physicians of death. Cause I call them the lab coat, lab coat, white cloak assassins, cause that's what they is. Making making our women burn, cause our some of our women are low. Some of our women come from probably stricken to this day. It really amazes me from areas that they don't know the paperwork and the dialogue and they get screwed, misconstrued, and at the end of the day they sterile. Okay. Y'all need to y'all need to uh really take it upon yourself. Margaret what Margaret Stringer, Stranger, whatever her goddamn name was, uh um and and look at Maf Mafia or Mafia yeah, Mafia twenty one. And watch the whole goddamn documentary. I'm giving y'all some heads up. Watch the whole documentary. And you see why some of our black women is this fucking functional. Remember, you brothers getting on here spinning wheels. Coming with half truths and, and truths and topics. And half of y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. Y'all need to go back into the books and research more. That give you a clear picture why... Uh, this modern day eugenics eugenics is still going on of depopulizing us as a black race on a big level. You know, they can't get you through the food, they get you through drugs, they get you through uh, 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 ran down motherfucking uh, clinics, so forth and so on. So that's what you got to look at. In order to destroy us, man, they have to destroy the, the one who creates us through her body, which is the black queen. I'm not going to sit up here and degrade my counterpart. I ain't going to sit up here and degrade my backbone. And men like me are dangerous. I'm not bragging on myself because we represent a collective it's not really an old school collective. It's a collective of knowing that without her, we cannot, we cannot exist. We cannot survive without our, without our backbone. We spineless. We like a snake on the ground. We can't move. We we handicapped, man. And that's what y'all bros become, snakes. Y'all can't even walk upright because y'all snakes. Y'all traitors to your race. You're talking against your, your own women because you had bad luck in your life or it came from a fucked up home. I'm sorry, man. But sometimes the sorriness runs out too. Because when you're a man, you're a man. And you got to take it good or bad, bad or good. Or oh, you're not a man. You're a fucking mouse. You're a wimp. You're a coward. Low self-esteem. Sucker ass. Simpleicious. Pussy. And that's what it all comes down to. The guys getting up here talking about women. Okay? But it's all fine and dandy when you can ghetto gag them, run trains on them, skeet in their face, call them bitches, tricks, hoes. You ain't worth a shit. All you worth is sucking dick and giving them ass. And you playing right into the racist, bigot, suppressors, ghetto gaggers, and all that shit y'all talk about. Y'all... Y'all self-sufficient, y'all self-explanatory. I already mentioned this on one of my channels. When you do that, you can't even talk about your white counterpart because you taking his role now. So shut the fuck up. My thing is this. We cannot go on if we keep going on at this rate degrading our women. Some of them you can't save. You cannot be Captain save a some of them are beyond redemption. I understand that. But to cast a whole lot of them into the fire and say all black women ain't worth a shit, that shows you the fucking retardation and the ignorance of the internet and social media. I think some of you brothers can't deal with the corporate women, can't 
can't deal with the women that get uh, bachelors, PhDs. Can't deal with the women that that that, that that's making six, seven figures. Y'all feel as though y'all uneducated, which what you what you, you is, and you can't come up to the plate. All you is a stud, and, and, and when she wants some, she get some, and that's it. And she go to the intellectual bro. Well, you put yourself in that position, bro. You can't blame nobody else but yourself. Stop blaming black women for your dysfunctional behavior, black man. Okay? Gotta stop blaming them. That's a cop-out. Until we break that mentality and see that a man supposed to stand and run house and demand his respect, we'll be so fucked up. You know, we always be fucked up. And of course, yeah, the black women feel like they got penis and nuts. They're going to run over you. Think they the boss. They wear the pants in the household. But black men are getting weak. That's what I see. And you see it on social media. This is why black women don't respect black men to a certain extent. This is what this is where you start to see the hater raid come out in black men and they try to attack black women. And feminists in the feminist movement or what have you. It's not it's not all the women's fault. It's our fault too. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. And the gender wars is ridiculous. You know, it's really ridiculous when I see this shit on the internet, all these gender wars. But we're gonna keep on continue continue waiting this shit if we don't stop it as black men and get back to our old ways of running things financially spiritually, physically, mentally, and the whole fucking 10 yards, and the whole 100 yards. Until then, I guess this shit gonna play out the way it's keep playing out with the dumb shit. Respect your sisters, man. And be a man. And I bet you, your sisters, your sisters will respect you as a black male and be submissive to you and love you. But but if we keep going against each other's topics and ideology, fighting amongst each other, killing each other, blaming a white man for our dilemma, don't spec don't spec the sister to respect us. I don't know if y'all can understand it or comprehend the wisdom I have spoke. You might have to watch this video a couple more times so you can get it. I'm not upholding all black women. Let's, let's clarify that. I'm upholding the ones that is like Angela Davis, Angela Davis, Mary Angelou, Angelo. Rosa Parks, women like that, Pam Greer, yeah, even even her, that's a strong sister. Women like that, all the Black Power women, all Cicely Tyson, women like that, yes, yes, women like that. Good women, good Black women, strong Black women, yes. Francis, what is it, uh, Francis C. Wells ain't something like that. Uh, that sister too has been in the forefront of uh, a lot of uh, things when it ha when it has to do with the symbolic meaning of the sexual organs and all kinds of stuff. She talk about the, the culture, the black dilemma, and the black experience when it comes to the black men and black women. Another good sister. It just goes on. It, the list goes on. I'm upholding them. Not the other ones. But I ain't going to spend my time talking about the other ones. I just clarified it and self-explanatory just told you in this video. Okay? And the ones that's been indoctrinated with that with the ideology is controlled by your so-called, which I talk about all day. You want to talk about some Illuminati? That's the Illuminati. And a second hit to this is, this is how they do it. 
And those who encourage this as black men, that shows you how weak and what sector and what category they are in. Twerkers, uh, sex workers, uh, strippers, uh, all real loud, bolsters, bolsters, you know, lady that's a woman that's loud and talking all kind of all. Cause this is what they embrace. This is what they uh, uh, put on social media. This is what they want you to constantly every day. They want to put black women the evil demonic people want to put black women on stage of being loud, ghetto gagger, a hoe, a gold digger. This is your black woman. This is this is your queen. She ain't scandalous. She don't give a fuck. This is what they want. And y'all, and y'all black men. Some of you black men don't see that's a scheme. Y'all don't see that's a trick. Don't y'all know that's a scheme? Don't you know that's the trick from the de demonic forces of the demon? And y'all fall right into the trick. Don't fall for that bullshit. That that's your enemy. Put propping your women, propping that bitch up. That bitch, not the woman. It's just a bitch out of algae. It's a meaning of a ebony hoe. And this is what they want to think. This is, I mean, excuse me. This is what they want you to think about your black woman. Don't fall for that bullshit. Every black woman is not like that. I might, I just might, nah, I'm, I'm not going to spend my time with this. If y'all don't get it in this video, I guess y'all never get it. Pay attention to this video. We need her, man. We need her in these times so bad, it's pitiful. We need her, and God damn it, she definitely need us to wake the fuck up and be men again. Because some of these men I see in 2015, now this year about to close, I'm going to go 16. Hey, shit, boy. It look rough out here. Real fucking rough. She need us to wake up. And we need her to wake up. And we need to come together and get back to our old roots. Until then, it's going to be fucked up. Peace. All of my production.